What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to access your task manager to shut down programs that you're stuck on or that froze on you or that just put a complete black screen. It's real easy, real simple. It's going to be a quick video today. So if you're new to the channel and this video helps you out, make sure to subscribe, turn on them post notifications and smash that like button. It really helps us out. Also, check out the affiliate links in the description below. I'm going to have some cool tech gear and other computer-related stuff on there. So, check it out if you're interested. And let's get right into this Windows 10 Task Manager tutorial. Alright, guys. So... Basically, in this video, I'm going to show you, one, how to access Task Manager, two, how to understand Task Manager and get to the point where you can shut down programs that have died on you or that just shut down or given you problems, um, or if you just got like a real slow computer and it's freezing all the time, or this might be able to fix some of your guys' problems. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video. And we're going to get right into it. So to be able to get to your task manager, you can do a one of a couple of things. You can, if you're on your home screen like this, you can come down to the task bar. You can right click on it. And you just come up to task manager and click it. Same thing over here. You can right click on the start menu and come up to task manager. Now, if you can't do that and you can't move your mouse even to get to anything or it won't let you close down the windows and you're just stuck, you can just hold down Control alt and then click Delete. When you do that, you can click on Task Manager. Okay, now that we're on Task Manager, it might pop up like this. If it pops up like this, what you're going to want to do is click More Details. And when you do that, it's going to have a lot more options for you to look at, a lot more information to be able to see. Now, from the first tab, which is called Processes, you can see if you scroll down, you're going to have Apps, which is just programs that are running. Right now, I just have Google Chrome, OBS Studio, which is the recording software to record my screen right now. And we got Task Manager open. Okay, now say Google Chrome was giving us a lot of problems and that's what was freezing on us. We would want to come up to Google Chrome, right click on it, and we just want to go down to end task. Okay, once you do that, it's going to completely shut it down and you're going to be able to finally exit the program and do a, a real fresh shutdown of that app or program and you'll be able to try to restart it up and see if that works also another thing I can't stress enough if you guys are having problems with your computer always first thing you got to try is to turn it off and turn it back on if that doesn't work then you go through the processes of trying to figure out what's wrong but a lot of the times that really helps so Comment down below if all you had to do to fix your problem was just turn it off and turn it on. Now, underneath apps, you also got background processes. And I wouldn't really mess with these too much if you don't know what you're doing. A lot of these are stuff that um, the computer has to have running. Um, and a lot of these are stuff that you want running. So, like uh, your security and your... Um, antivirus stuff you want that going at all times but you can just go through here and look if there's anything obvious that you don't want on or that is slowing your computer down you definitely want to end that task but you can see here there's going to be a lot of background uh, processes so that's there next we're going to move on to the next tab which is called performance and this is really cool here this can show you your cpu your memory your disk drive performance, um, Ethernet, your Wi-Fi, your RAM, all types of stuff. Now, you can also click on each one individually. So, if we want to look at our RAM or our memory, um, it shows I just installed uh, another 8 gigabytes of RAM in this today. So, it used to say 5.1 out of 8 or whatever it is out of 8 gigabytes. 
and now it's out of 15.9 so that's awesome we just doubled our ram and honestly it really sped up the computer a lot but let's just go back to the cpu this is where you can also look exactly what processor you got in there so i i got the i5 6300 right now on my laptop and it's not a bad cpu at all it's do it does decent um, honestly, the next thing I'm going to want to upgrade on this specific laptop is going to be my, I want to get an SSD in here. It's going to make it a lot faster going with the new memory. But these are just some performance stuff that you can look at if you want. Moving on, um, app history, I'm not going to really go through this one. Startup, now this is a big one. You can come down in your startup and this is whenever you start your computer, Everything in here that says enabled under status is going to start running right when you start up your computer. Now, if you look to the right here, it says startup impact. It'll say low, medium, or high. Now, don't disable anything unless you're positive that you don't want it on. But like I could go through here and I didn't want Dropbox on, so I disabled that. Disable a couple other things that were taking a lot of startup impact on here. So you can go through and pick and choose whichever ones you want running and whichever ones you want disabled. Um, it's all personal preference. But like I said, if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with too many things. You don't want to make it worse than it was before. Um, after that, you got a details tab and then you got a services tab. I'm not going to get too much into those guys, but... I just want to make a quick task manager preview slash tutorial for you. Comment down below if this helps you out. And like I said, check out those links in the description below. Thanks for all the new subscribers, guys. We just broke 10K. Really happy about that. Make sure to look out on the channel for the giveaway information coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.